B2Web here today taking a look at uh, elegant themes and in particular a whirlwind tour of the e-panel which is where you're going to do a lot of your easy setup. It's a true drag and drop technology for really making it easy to get a website up and running fast. I'm going to start off here on the blog post at website template reviews com. This is my elegant themes uh, page displaying all of their themes to date and as you can see they have a lot of them and a lot of them are really really fantastic attention to detail a lot of textures uh, quite a nice design I'll have to say we're gonna look at the back end of the my product theme which is right here I have that set up let's go there now in the back end of an installed my product theme by elegant uh, themes here uh, to get to the e-panel you just go under appearances on your left and pick your whichever theme it is you have the options and that brings it up here you'll see that the e-panel is really drag and drop technology and uh, we'll be showing you examples of how, how to be going and making your selections uh, throughout this panel on the e-panel is uh, its own menu bar for options and you go into each panel there and make your various customization now it's important to note that the theme, this e-panel you're seeing in this whirlwind tour here is for my product. Generally speaking, there's going to be a lot of similarities uh, across all elegant themes, but there are going to be some themes that are going to have uh, unique elements to their their e-panel. So don't expect if you buy a different, uh, a download a different theme from elegant themes, you're going to get everything you see here there will be differences for instance here we have a featured slider now not every elegant themes is going to have a featured slider on the home page my product theme does a lot of them do and if you have one this is where you're going to go through and customize it it's really easy to customize it you want five slides on a slide you change it to five you want to choose which category you're pulling all of your um, slides from and linking to you do it right there uh, of course you can you have to enable it first now you can uh, this is a long one it's important every time you make a change on the e-panel you scroll to the bottom and you click save I can't tell you how many times I haven't done that and wonder why didn't the changes take the home page customization is uh, in the general settings as well you can uh, change your blog categories from the home page you can display your services uh, this is that's unique to um, the my product theme uh, and then these are also every home page obviously is going to be different when you look at uh, the elegant themes and that's where you're going to have probably different looking e-panels here so on this my product I can dictate which uh, how to link to my welcome page and my various service pages because they show up as blocks or excerpts on the home page and then I link to whichever page I want to describe let's say you know service number three there and then a customer a prospective customer can read all about it moving on here to navigation navigation is really important to a website experience for any visitor and you want to put some thought into it elegant themes makes it easy with its e-panel to customize and uh, plan out your navigation you can do it for categories as we're in now pages and then general settings for your navigation not a lot there uh, your page navigation for instance uh, we're going to just use this as an example it's a navigation bar so which pages do you want to show up on your navigation bar uh, if you don't want a particular page you make sure there's an X if you want to have a page displayed there you, you make a check so every time you publish a page it's going to show up in this box here and you just go through and check which ones you want to have displayed category navigation also same concept categories from the navigation bar there you go so you can actually put uh, categories in your nav bar as well you can show how many tiers it drops down and so forth moving on to layout now, I'm sorry I'm not going to get into every single thing you can do with the e-panel here the whole point of this is to just give you an idea of how easy it is to use and some of the more common uh, features that you're going to use to get your website up and running quickly uh, layout settings uh, We'll start off with the single post. This is a pretty simple panel for this particular theme. I can just dictate if I want these these icons and elements in a particular page or post. Um, you just click and it goes to gray like that and it's turned it off and click it again to turn it back on. Ad management. Uh, 
if you run a business website you're not necessarily going to be inserting ads but if you're running a magazine or a blog site you may certainly be adding ads and you just put in your codes in here your destination URL uh, and if you use an AdSense AdSense code down here and you dictate then uh, control where your ads display within your site it's pre-configured depending on which theme you decide to use colorization if you've never touched or no, don't know a single line of code, whether HTML or CSS, you can still do a lot of customization with Elegant Themes. And that's the whole point of the ePanel. Um, again, if, if you're advanced, you can, of course, go in the CSS style sheets under the editor and, and uh, revise, edit, modify to your heart's content. But if you're new at this stuff and you're getting your first or second website up and running, uh, Elegant Themes is a good option because you can just plug away at the C panel and make quite a bit of customization changes here without touching a line of code and the color panel is an example you have your font color your link color menu link color and so forth and you can dictate those colors and to make it easy to find the right color for you you've got a color chooser right uh, right in the panel it's, itself as well SEO don't forget to put in your metadata of your website lots of websites especially small businesses or business websites uh, don't do this and it's a big mistake you're going to want to get your metadata met metadata in there um, for your particular individual pages and posts as well as your home page it's nice elegant themes comes up with the panel to use if you prefer to use a plugin uh, with WordPress for SEO then by all means just disable the whole SEO panel here but uh, you, you've got the basics here meta title description keywords use it take the time put in the information do it for every page and post you use it really going to help out with getting some free traffic from the search engines integration it's the last section on the e-panel this is uh, sort of a mini hook section here and you can put in analytics code or scripts in the head tag here you have a body tag here and I really like these parts here you can put uh, code to the top of your posts or to the bottom of your posts I like the way uh, Elegant Themes uses uh, the directions here just tells you exactly where it's going to go rather than before the loop or after the loop I mean you know, I, I wasn't too long ago I didn't know what any of that meant but this is simple so for example if you use feed burner and you get subscribers to your website you can throw in your feed burner code right here and it'll display the little uh, sign up form there and you're ready to go that concludes the uh, ePanel tour for elegant themes I'm just going to end with uh, pointing out some of my favorite themes back on uh, website template reviews.com back at website template reviews.com and uh, I'll just uh, quickly go through some of my favorites I, I know one thing Elegant Themes is doing is they're going to be putting a big big focus big push on new business themes that's been uh, something that's quite a bit in demand and, and I can see why uh, you have here you have an e-commerce theme and the boutique theme you have a review website for affiliate marketers you have my cuisine for restaurants this in style theme is really really slick I think that's quite stylish uh, it's it's not for every type of business but if you have something that's uh, got a lot of aesthetics to it or a portfolio type website in style there creates quite stunning backgrounds and um, you might want to use that some real specific purpose themes we've got ask it to Q&A you have events and event type website eStore this is a really popular e-commerce WordPress theme and here we'll end off with the my product theme that we did a uh, that, that we were looking at in the back end if you, if you visit this page uh, I have the newest selling themes at the top and the older ones at the bottom scroll down check them out and you can get them all for uh, 39 bucks right now uh, which in my view is a really good deal thanks for watching